Hi, how are you? My name is John Korn from your Boston Sports, and uh, we're at my house right now doing a, our podcast. And uh, Gordon uh, suggested I show you some of my memorabilia from uh, over the years that my, what I have in my, my collections here. I have, I have a lot of other stuff. This, this, these are my favorites. Uh, Right here is a picture of opening day at Fenway Park in uh, April 2000, uh, April 1912, uh, 102 years ago now. And uh, obviously, uh, they didn't have very many automobiles back then. A lot of, a lot yeah. of horseback, huh? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I got that from the uh, from the uh, Hall of Fame Museum in uh, Hall of Fame store at Cooperstown. And over here, this is opening day. When the Red Sox won the um, 2004 World Series, they finally broke the curse and they won the first World Series in 86 years. And I got a phone call from uh, from Ron Gordon here, and he said uh, I got tickets to Opening Day against the Yankees when they, when they have the, the the ring ceremony. I says you got to be kidding me. And uh, this this was something uh, every Red Sox fan dreamed about seeing. And and. Uh, and that was that was a special day. In fact, we we decided to um, we almost took two cars up there in case in case the car broke down on the way up there. We had to be that's that's how, that's, that's how much we wanted to make sure we got there. But uh, we didn't do that. But it was uh, this is opening day at Fenway Park when they when they uh, when they uh, were officially world champions for the first time in eighty six years. And this is a picture of them uh, when they won the World Series uh, in uh, October twenty seventh, two thousand four. 11.35 p.m. against the St. Louis Cardinals. The Boston Red Sox finally became world champions. That was, that was almost 11 years ago now. This is my bobblehead of Big Poppy and my bobblehead of Pedro over there. Do they really work? It's a real bobblehead. A real live bobblehead. Look at that. The two, cool. the two faces of uh, Boston in, the, in modern times. Pedro and uh, Poppy. And these some of the autographs I have. And uh, Bill Lee. This is my, this is my favorite one. It's Jerry Remy. We met Jerry Remy at the um, uh, the Winterfest, and the picture of Louis Tiant. We got uh, Louis Tiant, El Tiante. That was about ten years ago, right? All right, Gordon. That's right. And over here, um, I snuck into Wrigley Field about twenty something years ago. I was helping a friend of mine move. Uh, my friend Dave, he moved out in the Chicago area, and uh, and we were uh, driving. We were, we were driving around Chicago and driving by Wrigley Field. And they were bringing these supplies in the middle of the winter time. They're bringing these supplies in. We parked the car, got out, kind of walked in. We walked walked through a turnstile, walked down a stairs, walked, and boom, we're out in the middle of the. <laughs> so I ran out there and he took a picture of me. And nobody, security wasn't the same, I guess, in those days as it is now. It's only, it's probably around 1992 that picture was taken. So that was fun. I'm walking, I'm walking around on the outfield of a of a Wrigley Field. And this is my favorite right here, over here. These are my uh, my uh, pin collections. Every time I go to a every time I go to a, a stadium, I get the I get the stadium pin. Baltimore, right there. Cardinals, um, Kansas City, on and on and on. I kind I kind of put them in the order that I've been to them. Washington, Washington, uh, Miami. Is that Miami? No. What is it? Yeah, that's Miami. Tampa Bay, Cincinnati. Well, we don't have to go through all of them, but. I've been to every one of them except um, uh, Minnesota and Colorado. What's your favorite? What's your favorite stadium? My favorite is Baltimore, and my other favorites are, after that are uh, St. Louis and Pittsburgh. What about San Francisco? San Francisco, yep. San Diego was nice. Texas is nice, but um, the nicest stadiums are probably yeah St. Louis, um, San Francisco, Pittsburgh. But Baltimore is the Baltimore is great because it's got all the uh, stuff around it. They, they have Babe Ruth's birthplace. You can take a tour of that, and it's just, it's really a really cool place to visit Camden Yard. So that's my little baseball memorabilia tour, ladies and gentlemen. That's great. Thank you, Miss Gordon. You're welcome. Oh, and this was a gift from uh, Gordon, which he made me pay for. <laughs> uh, my, uh, my my mug. YourBostonSports.com. Now, this is available at the Your Boston Sports online store. If you go to our uh, Facebook page, Red Sox Alley, you'll see, you'll see many links to the store. And we'll put a we're going to put a new link up soon. But we have a store, Your Boston Sports shirts, hats, 
mugs, mugs, aprons, water bottles, golf balls, water bottles. It. You name it, we have it. Awesome. Let's, let's zoom in a little bit on that. That's a very nice looking mug. I think it's great. Okay, enough advertising right, we got, now. Well, we got one more, one more to do though. One more. Can you? Um, <laughs> Uh, hold on a sec. Come, come with me. <laughs> and, you, and you can actually put the mug down. All right. Oh, the shirt. The shirt. <laughs> Example of the Your Boston Sports I'm not going to display shirt. it for you, but I'll just hold it up. There it is. Your Boston Sports shirt. We have tank tops. That is wicked cool. A lot of other products. All right. Looks good. Thank you, Mr. Corn. Thank you, Mr. Gordon. Okay.